Well, you've heard the saying, it takes a village. Tonight, a community leader is working to get through to young people impacted by adversity and put them on the path to a meaningful future. He is redoubling efforts after Philadelphia police arrested four teenagers who they say assaulted an officer outside of Dobbins Tech. Here's CBS Philadelphia's Aziza Shuler. Pure chaos last Friday after dismissal at Dobbins Tech High School in North Philadelphia. This video raking up thousands of views on social media shows a Philadelphia police sergeant hit over the head from behind and falling to the ground. The department says the officer was trying to disperse a mob of at least 500 unruly teenagers who had been fighting on the highway. I was angry, very angry. Last thing we need is police officers in our area uh, being disgruntled, um, feeling disrespected. That's Pastor Carl Day, known to many as Pastor of the Hood. His church, Culture Changing Christians, is committed to community outreach and violence intervention in the 19132 zip code where Dobbins Tech is located. I instantly started to think, you know, I have to respond, um, have to get our men together and figure out what we're going to do to. Um, try to really mediate this going forward. That included conversations with police, but also hearing Dobbins students' side of the story. They said it wasn't my, many of the students' fault that, you know, that started the, 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 the violence with the officers, but outsiders um, who came up to the schools. Now, when you see kids acting out in this way, you can't help but to think, where are the parents? But Pastor Day believes this behavior isn't necessarily a reflection of bad parenting. I think contrary to popular belief, parents are trying. A lot of parents aren't really necessarily raising their children to be violent, but they are succumbing to the culture um, and the influence that's around them. Next week, Pastor Day plans to facilitate an open dialogue with students, school staff, and police, hoping to ease tensions between the youth and authorities. Aziza Shuler, CBS News, Philadelphia.